Thank you for watching this Dear Systems tutorial. In this video, we'll be looking at how to create new products and services, as well as other functions of the Inventory module. The Inventory module allows you to create new products and services, and new product families, which are small variations on the same product. You can also perform stock adjustments, stock takes, stock transfers, as well as inventory write-offs. We'll be covering each of these in separate videos. Let's start by looking at an already created product to familiarise ourselves with the layout. The product screen is divided into two parts. The general information at the top of the screen, which holds most of the information about the product or service. The left side of the screen is reserved for optional product information such as prices, suppliers, dimensions, as well as movement tracking of the product or service usage. We'll be covering more of these in further detail. To create a new product or service, first navigate to the Inventory module and select New Product or Service. To save a new product or service, all the fields with a red asterisk must be filled in starting with the SKU. SKU or stock keeping units can be combinations of numbers or letters. However, numeric SKUs starting with zero can cause problems when importing and exporting, so not recommended. Other combinations of numbers are acceptable in Deer Inventory, as well as alphanumeric combinations. Next, you'll need to give your product a name. Then, select the type of the item. This can be either stock, service, gift card, non-inventory, or fixed asset. Stock refers to the items that can be moved in and out of your inventory. Service describes transactions where no physical goods are transferred to the customer, for example, shipping or insurance. Gift cards can be used by your customers to pay for products and services. A gift card type item automatically appears in your inventory when gift cards are enabled, and only one gift card item can be in your inventory at a time. Non-inventory products are allowed to be purchased or sold without any reliance on their available stock. For example, items that your organization purchases but doesn't resell or require to track current stock levels, such as office supplies. Fixed asset refers to the long-term assets, which are tangible assets used in a business that are classified as property, paint, and equipment. We'll cover more of this function in another video. Next, we need to assign the product a category. If you don't have suitable categories already set up, you can add a new one by selecting the plus button. You can also add a brand if required. Next, we'll need to assign the stock product a costing method. Deer uses actual accounting costing methods such as first in, first out, first expiry, first out, and also lets you pick inventory by a batch or serial number when required. There's another video available for more information about these costing methods. A unit of measure can be selected for your item. This could be an hour in the case of a service item, or bottle, each, kilogram, liter, or any other unit of measure that you require. You can also add new ones on the fly by selecting the plus symbol. Dropship functionality for this product can also be set on the screen. This is covered in another video, as is bill of materials which is involved in the production module. You can then choose an inventory, revenue, and cost of goods account to assign to your product. This doesn't need to be done at this screen, and can be taken care of in the purchase or sales module if preferred. The same applies to the purchase tax rule and the sales tax rule. Whenever these are not assigned to a product, either the customer, supplier, or your default account and tax rules will be applied by DEER. A predetermined discount can also be applied to the product. There's another video that goes into greater detail about more advanced options such as product discounts and product deals. A stock locator can be added to help locate the product in your warehouse, for example, row 3. And in the warranty field, you can assign a manufacturer warranty to the product. The options available on the drop-down list are to be set up in Settings, Reference Books, Warranties. The status of the product can be active, deprecated, or setup required. Active products are listed in your inventory, and deprecated products are no longer active and can be deleted. You can also set the default location for where the product will automatically be picked from and delivered to. Additional attributes can be set in the settings module to add further details to your products in the form of custom fields. This is also covered in another video. You can enter a barcode for your item to use barcode scanners to input it quickly during purchases, sales, stock transfers, and other transactions. In this section, you can also set low stock reorder levels, which is covered in another video. Tags are useful when products can belong to more than one category. For example, a t-shirt could be part of clothing, shirt, and casual. Enter tags into this field and separate them by commas. 
Deer allows you to assign products to one or more pick zones for streamlined picking. This feature is only relevant to users of the Deer Warehouse Management Solution or WMS app. I am selling this product will stop the product or service appearing in the sales process. It will still be visible in purchases and production operations. You can enter a short description of the product here. And enter a more detailed description of the product here. This description is shown on your sales channels. Enter any information that does not fit anywhere else into the internal notes field, and this will be kept for internal use only. This information is not shared publicly on your sales channels. Once you have filled in all your fields with a red asterisk, you can save your product. Further, on the left side of the screen, there are several tabs to add product information. Deer Inventory allows you to have up to 10 price tiers for different types of customers. For example, retail, wholesale, and bulk. You can change the name of price tiers in Settings, General Settings. The current average cost is calculated from all the Deer Inventory transactions, or it can be uploaded manually with your inventory list. The Stock tab shows the availability of products in different locations. From here, you'll know the number of stock you have on hand and available, as well as the number of items currently on order and allocated. The next delivery date of the product in your location is also displayed here if entered against the purchase order. The Stock tab is not used for changing a product's stock levels. For that, you'll need to create a stock adjustment, which is explored in another video. You can then add dimensions of the product if required. Adding additional attributes set to the product in the document header will make an additional attributes tab appear on the product screen. Here, you can complete your bespoke fields to better identify the product for your business. And you can also add suppliers. Suppliers will be added automatically as you begin to purchase the product from other suppliers, but they can also be added manually. Adding suppliers is important for backorder and low stock reorder functions, as well as drop shipping. These are all covered in other videos. You can also set custom prices for the product in your inventory for selected customers. Custom pricing takes precedence over regular product pricing, and once applied, ignores any discount rules. Reorder levels can be set for the total product quantities in the document header, but also each product location specifically. One or more suppliers can be attached to the product to use this functionality. As you begin to buy and sell your products, the movements will be recorded in this tab. Product movements cover purchases, sales, stock adjustments, stock takes, and any assemblies or disassemblies involved in the production module. Movements can be shown in a few different ways via the drop-down field at the top right. This enables you to see movements by quantities, quantities and costs, or effects on the stock availability. Product discounts can also be applied in this tab, which is covered further in the product discounts video. Also, you can attach images and attachments that are helpful for your product. Multiple images and attachments can be uploaded to the product from your computer. And these images will be used for sales channels in shops like eBay, Magento, DearPoz, and DearB2B. The additional units of measure function allows more than one unit of measure to be specified for a product or service. For example, if the same bottle of wine is sold as an individual bottle, or a case of six, or a case of 12, the additional units of measure function can be used in the following situations. To automatically disassemble a case into singles if purchased in cases but sold in singles. To automatically assemble a case from singles if sold as a case and stocked as singles. To do the unit of measure conversion if purchased in kilograms and needs to be converted to pounds for example. The Channels tab lets you view the product's quantities in Deer, and if applicable, in your sales channel stores. Here, you can see if the product is already listed in your sales channel or not. Beside the list, you can unlist or remove a product from a store and update the product information as shown. The Activity Logs shows you any changes that users or the system has made to the product record over time. Once you've created a product, you can use the Clone button to clone similar products. This method can be used for creating products in Deer one by one. However, if you have hundreds or even thousands of products to upload into Deer Inventory, there is an easier way to do this. First, let's go to the Inventory module and view the product list. 
Here, you can see the import and export options. Let's select Import Inventory List. From this screen, you can download the templated DEAR Inventory List CSV file. This file contains a large amount of fields that need to be completed before uploading can take effect. You can see a list of these fields by selecting Field Specifications to reveal the required and optional fields within the CSV. In the template, you can see the product code, name, category, brand, costing method, and all of the fields that were shown previously in the Create Product screen. Not all of the fields have to be filled in right now. It's also very important not to change the name or the order of the columns for the import to work successfully. Once the table has been completed, it can be imported back into DEER via either dragging and dropping or selecting the option to upload from your computer. As well as uploading products in bulk, the inventory list function can be used to edit existing products in bulk. By using export inventory list, you'll be able to download a CSV file which contains all the products that are currently in DEER. From here, you can make any changes that you need to the inventory list and upload it back into DEER inventory as shown before. Once you have created your products either individually or using the inventory list function, you can import item quantities by using the stock on hand template. The stock on hand template should only be used to import your initial stock balances to DEER. As DEER inventory uses actual accounting cost methods, uploading the stock on hand template more than once will create new instances of the product rather than updating existing balances. To update existing balances, the stock take or stock adjustment function should be used. The stock on hand template asks for product code, quantity, average cost, and location if required, and also has the option to add batch, serial number, expiry date, and receive date if needed. Once the stock on hand template has been completed, it can be uploaded back into Deer Inventory. Let's have another look at the product list view. You have the ability to customize the table layout by selecting the gear icon. Different columns can be added or removed using the tick box. To reset the table to its original layout, you can select Reset Layout. You can also choose to sort columns via ascending or descending order by selecting the header name. Or rearrange the column order by dragging and dropping the header. The only active option enables you to show your products with an active status or also products that have a deprecated status. It's possible to batch print product labels and specifications by selecting several products and going to print. Then choose either product label or product specifications. Multiple products or service records can also be merged into a single product or service. Note that merging products is irreversible and you will also need to merge the same products in your accounting app afterwards. To do this, select the products you wish to merge. Then, select More Actions, Merge Selected Products. Here, you can select the primary product record and select Merge to confirm. The final function available is to delete deprecated products. Products that have their status set to deprecated can be deleted by clicking this. Note that if a product has any transactional history against it, the system will not be able to delete the deprecated product. And that concludes this video on product management.